Today, we learn some facts about how this Earth is changing and how fast. Polar ice sheets in Greenland are melting at five times the pace of just a few years ago. New research concludes that Antarctica is melting. Sea level rise is happening 60% faster than the United Nations predicted in 2007. As the planet has warmed from human emissions of greenhouse gases, the rate of sea level rise has accelerated. Uh, it's expected to continue doing so. Dr. Strauss. In the long term, we are likely to see many feet of sea level rise and be forced to redraw the map of the United States. The high end of projections for this century would be enough to turn Miami-Dade County, Florida into a collection of islands. But in the near term, we will mainly experience sea level rise as more and more coastal floods reaching higher and higher. For years, we've been told the ice is disappearing. And now researchers say the rate at which it's melting is accelerating. Combining Greenland and Antarctica, the loss of ice is three times as much today. And that's led to a contribution of just over 11 millimetres to global sea levels. And low-lying communities, some of the poorest in the world, will be most at risk from rising sea levels. It is time, say scientists, to act, to try to slow down the impact of global warming if it's not already too late. Transport officials in Ohio are scrambling after a sinkhole more than a thousand feet long devoured part of a rural highway. The hole is 30 feet deep and the size of four football fields and could get even bigger. Within 15 minutes, it had torn off a big chunk of State Route 516. The asphalt plunging toward the bottom of what had been a hay field. Heavy snowstorms have severely disrupted traffic northwest of Moscow as cars and lorries have become stuck, some for as long as three days. With the traffic jam reaching over 200 kilometers, emergency field kitchens have been set up to help the stranded drivers battling sub-zero temperatures. This is the heaviest snowfall in 50 years took place in the course of the last few hours. Much of the Northwest is getting battered this Sunday by three fierce storms in a row with another one on the way tonight. Heavy rain flooding the streets of Sacramento, sending trees crashing under cars in San Francisco, even blowing over a big rig on the San Rafael Bridge. I think this is a storm that slammed the West Coast from Washington down to the San Francisco Bay. And just take a look at this. Well, some of the heaviest flooding that they have seen in more than a decade. For almost a week, high winds and heavy rains have pounded the West Coast. Trees and power lines are down, rivers and creeks pushed past their banks. Everybody behind us has lost almost everything. Everyone's been evacuated and it's horrible. I've never seen nothing like this in real life, never. Super Typhoon Bopa has just made landfall in the southeastern Philippines. This is the first time a super typhoon has ever come ashore in that country. Look at the winds, 315 kilometers per hour. Hundreds of people have been killed and millions affected. There's so many factors and facets to the storm that make this so unusual, and this is why this is a big concern right now. As we get in a little bit closer, Mindanao is the second largest island in the Philippines, but because it's extremely south, it's close to the equator. Uh, systems just don't develop, first of all, this time of year in December. If you talk about Mindanao in the month of December, I mean, they have typhoons, but once every 10 years. But they've never had one of this size. They've never had a super typhoon move into Mindanao. They just don't develop closer to the equator. In fact, there's only one other one that we know of in recorded history that developed closer to the equator. But this is a monster storm. Survivors say they've never seen anything like Bofa before. Now, officials are telling them that typhoons like Bofa will only become more common in the future. A freak mini tornado ripped through Auckland, New Zealand, killing three people and leaving several more injured. The death toll right now is three, with another seven currently needing hospital treatment. Peter, you need to stop. I'm not stopping. That's the last thing we do. Surveillance video captures people casually walking by when suddenly a pedestrian bridge collapses. This happened in central Turkey. The bridge had been weighted down by snow, but what actually caused the collapse 
is still under investigation. Sudden snowstorms in Sweden caused transport chaos on Wednesday. The country's main airport was closed and many road and rail routes were blocked. More than 30 centimetres fell in just 12 hours and forecasters have warned more snow is on the way. But a frightening mystery has people talking tonight here in Barrington. Giant flash of light and about a second later a large boom. Lar uh, what I thought was a, an explosion of some sort. Residents living on both sides of Narragansett Bay reported hearing what sounded like an explosion. A visceral search for a source all day but came up empty. A loud, really loud, like it shook our house. Loud. Hundreds of people from all ends of the Verde Valley have now reported hearing the same thing. It scared me. I actually felt it and my house shook. It was really, really freaky, to tell you the truth. It was really, it was scary. I've never heard anything quite like this. They, they seem to believe that it came from underground rather than from the air. A magnitude 7.3 earthquake has struck off the eastern coast of Japan. A tsunami warning and advisory have been issued. It was most definitely the biggest quake we have felt since uh, March 11th of last year. But this has been the biggest, and it also seemed to go on for quite a long time. Um, it lasted probably for a minute, and unusually for an earthquake here, it ramped up in power. It seemed to get stronger uh, as the minute went on. This uh, one meter tsunami uh, in eastern Japan has come ashore in the Miyagi uh, province, which is uh, exactly the same area that was hit in March 2011. It's the image that you got people talking today, a fireball lighting up the Texas sky this morning. It's been seen streaking across the sky in North Texas. A NASA camera picked up the flash of light, just look at that, some 800 kilometers away in New Mexico. A spokesman for the organization says the fireball was most likely a meteor. Here, dozens of power poles caught fire early this morning, leaving many central Texans without electricity for hours on end. Many awoke this morning without electricity after nearly 50 power poles caught fire in five different counties. It's a very unusual situation. A town in the line of fire, a gas line explosion sent flames shooting 50 feet in the air. We're hearing homes have burned to the ground. They still don't know what triggered the blast, but they have investigators working on that right now. The people of Darwin have been shaken by a strong tremor this morning. A 7.3 magnitude earthquake struck about 600 kilometres off the Northern Territory coast. The beaches of Santa Cruz County are littered with the carcasses of thousands of Humboldt squid. They've stranded themselves from Aptos to Watsonville, a span of 12 miles. You just see them essentially killing themselves and it's just really weird to see. So did you feel it? Turns out we got a cosmic close shave yesterday. Two asteroids buzzed Earth, one of them passing inside the moon's orbit. NASA says the 120-foot wide rock came within about 140,000 miles of our planet. But had this hit the Earth, it could have caused damage about 800 square miles. That's a big So then I should area. be concerned about this, but that they discovered know, it at the 11th hour. They, perhaps the fact they discovered it so late is problematic. But it With chatter increasing over the looming end of days, a peculiar sight in Shanghai this week got people talking. On Monday, locals posted pictures of what looks like three suns in the sky. The real one in the middle is accompanied by two other clusters of light on either side of it. Observers marveled at the sight, some wondering whether it was an omen for things to come. Rain breaking overnight, series of earthquakes hit off the coast of California. The largest are reported 6.3 magnitude off the coast of Baja. As the area offshore has not hosted or seen basically any earthquakes greater than a magnitude 6 over the past 40 years.
It's one of the worst school shootings in U.S. history. 26 people gunned down in a U.S. primary school in Connecticut, 20 of them young children. Pupils had tried to hide from the killer in classrooms and closets, but the bloodbath ended only when he turned the gun himself. A woman believed to be his mother was also found dead at her house. We've been able to confirm, according to us, that the gunman is dead. Now we have reports now of multiple fatalities. That's from 20 children were killed in the carnage. 18 children died at the scene, two at the hospital. Those were five-year-olds, six-year-olds, small children. With a violent school attack in China, officials in the village of Chen Peng say a deranged man wounded 22 kids and an 85-year-old woman in the village's school. Most of the wounded were middle school age kids. Local media say the attacker suffers from mental illness. Recently, China has increased security at schools there in response to a surge of stabbings. Fiji is hit by its biggest cyclone in 20 years. A state of disaster has been declared. At least three people confirmed dead and many more are still missing. Large hailstones, strong winds and heavy rain have battered communities west of Brisbane in the past two hours. Storm chasers are reporting trees down, flash flooding and lightning south of Toowoomba. Siberia is in the middle of an extreme cold snap with temperatures dropping as low as minus 50 degrees in some parts of the country. The air is so cold that when boiling water was thrown off this balcony, it froze almost instantly. A local resident braved the minus 41 degree conditions Heavy rain causes more flooding. But in Britain, it's heavy rain that has left railway lines and many towns under several centimetres of water. More rain is forecast across much of southern and western England, as well as Wales and Scotland over the next two days. UK authorities have issued more than 160 flood warnings. At least 32 people have been killed and nine are reported missing after more than a week of heavy rain swamped parts of Sri Lanka. Flooding in central, north central and eastern Sri Lanka has displaced thousands. Chile is on its highest level of alert after the 3,000 meter Copahue volcano began to erupt. Ash is raining down on both sides of the border from a plume of smoke 1,500 meters high. Russia is in the icy grip of its coldest December on record. In Siberia to the east, temperatures have plummeted to almost minus 60. This cold snap has reportedly killed 123 people, including seven in the last 24 hours. Our holiday in Canberra, downtown Mobile, that is pointed towards the south. That is a tornado on the ground. This is a Do you tornado have any idea exactly where that's Mobile pointed? Mobile Metro. The power flashes are transformers. Okay. That tornado is on the ground. You can see the power flashes constantly happening as that thing's moving uh, from west to east. And uh, this is the real deal. This is a live shot off the holiday in camera down to mobile that is a tornado this is a tornado emergency for the mobile metro uh, the large very large days of heavy rain have caused flooding in france's northern province of norpar de calais there's been record-breaking snowfall in montreal as blizzards continue to batter north america Traffic on motorways is at a standstill. At least 16 people have died in the United States as the same snowstorms have been causing misery for travelers there. One of the worst hit states is Indiana, which has been covered with 40 centimeters of snow in some places. More than 100 flights have been canceled. to turn Miami-Dade County, Florida into a collection of islands. But in the near term, we will mainly experience sea level rise as more and more coastal floods reaching higher and higher. For years we've been told 
sea level rise is happening 60% faster than the United Nations predicted in 2007. As the planet has warmed from human emissions of greenhouse gases, the rate of sea level rise has accelerated. expected to continue doing so. Dr. Strauss. In the long term, we are likely to see many feet of sea level rise and be forced to redraw the map of the United States. The high end of projections for this century would be enough. Today, we learned some facts about how this Earth is changing and how fast. Polar ice sheets in Greenland are melting at five times the pace of just a few years ago. New research concludes that Antarctica is melting.